Hey everyone, so it's the uh, end of our second day of practice here for the uh, Pro Bass Canada Open here on Magog. Um, it's been about 12 hours now we're on the water. Our last video was shot at 7.15. We're now 7.15 at night shooting the second video, so it was a hell of a day of, uh, of fishing today. It got really, really hot, so uh, we're both a little delirious and tired right now. There's a bass boat in the background coming to the bay. Um, Overall, they probably finished at about an eight or eight and a half on ten. So we're actually really impressed with the way our practice day went. Uh, as we told you this morning, we started off with a really shallow pattern, figuring maybe we can catch some fish up shallower in the rocks on the shoreline. Uh, like you saw in our noon video, really didn't work out at all. Uh, we were catching dinks, half pounders, one pounders. We found a couple of spots that could have been nice, but nothing really worth talking about. Um, like we told you at lunchtime, we figured we'd uh, switch it up, uh, go up towards the lake more in the Quebec area around Magog, and see if we can fish some deeper structures that we had planned out a little bit on maps uh, before we actually came down here. And it actually worked out pretty well. Nick uh, Nick caught a bass between four and a four and four and a half pounds, uh, deeper than 15 feet of water. So actually a really nice fish, by far his biggest fish on Magog. Um, so after that we did a bunch of other deeper spots. Didn't really work out. I mean we found some nicer stuff, uh, but we're gonna have to exploit it a little more on our third day of practice. On the way back here to uh, to Newport, Nick uh, had a really good feeling of this one spot that we had looked at in the morning that uh, we actually caught a couple of largemouth open water on uh, in the main lake. So it wasn't fishing a bay or anything. We are actually fishing main lake and we caught a couple of two pound largemouth. And uh, Nick said he felt like stopping there again. So we worked a little bit, uh, the area a little bit more. And actually I got a two and a half pounder on my third or fourth cast, smallmouth. Uh, really chunky fish, really aggressive, jumped a lot. It was definitely a post spawn, more of a summer pattern fish that was probably feeding on bait fish or whatever it was feeding on. And two, actually two casts later, I got one three and a half pounds, almost four pounds. So we started to go, hmm, you know, we're putting together not a big bag. Uh, continued the area, caught another small bass, and we said, okay, that's it. We're going to explore the area a little bit more tomorrow. Not obviously the area we caught the fish, but a little further out, and we'll see what happens. So in, uh, in a nutshell, to do a resume of the day, uh, started off slow. We changed the patterns because what we were doing wasn't working. It actually worked out pretty well, and we tried some new stuff that worked out. So are we confident for the tournament? Who knows? We're only going to really find out tomorrow and actually on tournament day. Are we better off than we were yesterday with our zero bass in the first six hours of the day? Absolutely. So at the end of the day, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I hope you guys are enjoying these little videos and uh, keep checking mtlbasspros.com for more updates.